I turn this cuddly teddy into a monster that wants to eat your children for Halloween this year. Now I made this costume out of necessity as my son seems to look up to other YouTubers that carve pumpkins. So I decided to up the game. But am I a cool dad now? Well, we're about to find out. Now this project all started with my son Henry looking up to Bobby Duke. Let's carve a pumpkin. I couldn't have that. I can carve a pumpkin too, you know. But then I'd be just as cool as Bobby Duke. But I needed to be cooler. So I searched the dark web for a cooler idea. God. Oh, Jesus. Oh. That? Yeah, instead of a jack o' lantern, I'll make a monster teddy to sit at our doorstep. So I headed over to the equivalent of Craigslist here in Norway and found heaps of teddies. And then I came across this massive one for just 10 bucks. It was gonna look super scary sitting on our doorstep. So for 60 bucks and two and a half hours of driving, we had a teddy. Are you excited to see what dad does to him? No. Why not? Because you're going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going to make him awesome. But kill him. Oh, God. I'm never going to be as cool as Bobby Duke. Maybe this Jacko Teddy idea was a bust. But then Henry just said this one thing. I'm about out of his mouth. Henry was about four and a half feet. And this Teddy was just over five. What if I turned him into a costume instead? Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. All right, all we're gonna do is grab this teddy and get to work. <laughs> so let's do that. No! Oh. Oh. Apparently, it wasn't gonna oh. be that easy. Henry was attached to this teddy now. Okay, we'll wait till you fall asleep. I'm never gonna sleep, you dummy! Okay, so I couldn't work on the teddy, but what I could work on is creating a clip to make my son embarrassed on his 18th birthday. Using some tin foil and some tape, I made a mold of Henry's head, and then I could use that to make stencils so I could actually make the helmet for inside the costume. With the helmet all glued up, it was time to work on the inner lining. I just used a onesie that I found online and then just sewed some old gloves and old shoes to the hands and feet. Ah! We interrupt your viewing for a tranquil musical interlude. <laughs> Alright, now the inner lining is finished, it's finally time to get to work on the teddy. So let's do that. Justin, are you kidding me? The kids are asleep. I really don't want to cut him open. My son loves this guy. Oh God. Oh, I'm doing it. What? Ah. Oh. Oi, come on. It's my teddy. I'm alone. You call that a knife? This is a knife. No, dude. I call that an axe. Jeez, does anyone else have something to say? You suck. 
Shut up, Hank. All right, it's time to commit. First, I had to cut from his sternum down to his belly button. Once that was done, I cut his throat. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> then traumatically removed enough stuffing to fit an eight-year-old boy. After some David Goggins therapy, you know me, son? I realized they didn't know me, son. And I was back to it. I positioned the inner lining inside the teddy, then just sewed it in. Then there was just one more thing I had to do to make this guy into a monster. Remove his face. Okay, that was a little traumatic. Now, to make this guy evil, I thought I'd just replace his face with some sort of demigorgon mouth. And we're gonna make this demigorgon mouth out of XPS foam, which I got from my local hardware store. Kristen, start the car, start the car. To start, I need to trace his nose onto the foam and go from there. Once it was cut out, I roughly sketched what it was going to look like, so I knew where to cut. When using knives like this, you want to be careful not to slip and cut your finger. But not everyone was happy with my work. What? Murderer! Shut up, Hank. You teddy murdering bastard! I'm going to call the cops! Then I'm going to be sick! Oh god! I used a drill here to make the holes for the teeth, but in hindsight, I should have used a soldering iron. But luckily, I was able to fix all my mistakes with the Dremel. Each tooth was hand carved and then sealed with Modge Podge. Once dried, I painted the gums and each individual tooth. Then sealed it with varnish to finish. All right, some small things I kind of forgot to film. I added a bit of black around the, the bottom of the teeth and I put a gloss coat on it so it looks all shiny and salivary. Now, the next bit I think is actually to get some blood on here, but I'm gonna wait for that because I think what we're gonna do now is actually make the teddy look dirty and... <laughs> First up was to remove some fur. Using what I had, I ended up going for an assortment of wood stains to stain his fur. Using some sealant, and then made these awesome scars. The claws were attached using nails and soup glue. These claws were made exactly the same as the teeth. A demonic bear should, of course, be covered in blood. So using this fake blood, I stained his fur. When the fake blood dried, I didn't like the way it looked. So I just borrowed some nail polish from my wife. With some finishing touches, we were ready to see if I was cooler than Bobby Duke. That is so scary! Look at the teeth. You'd be scaring children and, and adults. Adults? So what do you think, Henry? What do you think? Perfect. You can't see my thumbs, but yeah. You're thumbing up? <laughs>
He's gonna be the coolest kid around in Maybe. Palo. <laughs> Is that cooler than Bobby Duke?